a significant piece of legislation. I completely support the bill. Thank you so much. Sri Bhuvaneshwar Kalita, BJP. Time is 10 minutes. Thank you, Madam, uh, for giving me the opportunity to speak on this bill. And I congratulate, it to, congratulate you to see in the chair. My heart is congratulations. Uh, this bill uh, actually uh, is uh, related to our traditions, our traditional society, where uh, we had the medi mediation tradition in this country from centuries. As you all know, it was strengthened by the panchayat system, and the panch in the panchayat, the elders, the village elders and the society elders sit and mediate things so that it, ha it doesn't ha and to keep harmony in the, uh, in the society. Later on, uh, the Britishers brought this mediation system to the judicial system, to the court system, but uh, over the years, because of uh, uh, the Singapore Convention on Mediation, where India is a signatory, we had to uh, shift to the mediation system, and over the years, the mediation process has, revol has been revolutionized, and I congratulate the government led by uh, our other Sri Narendra Modiji and the minister concerned for bringing this bill, bringing this revolutionary uh, bill to revolutionize the judicial system, the judicial process in this country. Uh, Madam, the object of the bill uh, is to facilitate and promote mediation in India, particularly institutional mediation uh, for the resolution of disputes, encourage community mediation, and make online mediation an acceptable and cost-effective process. Madam, uh, I, I, will pro I will not prolong my speech. I will be in the, within the limited time that has been given to me. But I must uh, highlight uh, the key, I, I must speak on the key highlights of this bill. One of the key highlights is domestic and international mediation of its application. The bill uh, defines domestic mediation as mediation conducted in India involving parties who reside, are incorporated, or have business in India, and where the mediation agreement states the application of Mediation Act 2021, it also recognizes international mediation involving commercial disputes with at least one party having a foreign connection. Madam, uh, the mandatory pre-litigation -litiga mediation about mediation and settlement about which the standing committee, this bill has gone to the standing committee and uh, many of the standing committee reco uh, recommendations has been uh, incorporated in this bill. Uh, one such recommendation was uh, from the standing committee, pre-litigation mediation should be reconsidered, made optional, and introduced in a phased manner to avoid uh, case delays. Madam, this bill makes pre-litigation me uh, mediation mandatory for disputes in accordance with the provisions of the bill before filing any suit or proceeding in any court or tribunal. Parties must attend at least two mediation sessions and failure to do so without reasonable cause may incur cost. So there is enough scope for mediation. There is enough scope uh, enough scope to uh, to solve their problems out of the court. So the, this uh, uh, pre-litigation mediation is, a, is one of the important part of this bill. And uh, another uh, important uh, standing committee uh, suggestion was uh, the number of disputes in the first schedule should be reduced to ensure more cases uh, to go through pre-litigation mediation Mediation should be allowed in cases involving disabled individuals and those affecting the rights. So, uh, Madam, disputes not fit for mediation, which includes uh, certain disputes like uh, uh, prosecution cases, disputes affecting third party rights, and matters related to tax allocation, the central government can 
amend this list. The mediation process and time limit about which the standing committee has said that a provision should be included in the bill for punishing breaches of confidentiality in mediation proceedings. Uh, the timeline for mediation should be reduced to 90 days uh, uh, to 60 day extension instead of 180 days. The definition of international mediation should be revised to align with the Singapore Convention for cross-border enforcement of settlement. As I said earlier, uh, the, the bill, in the bill, mediation proceedings are uh, confidential and parties may withdraw after the first two sessions, the bill sets time limit of 180 days for mediation extendable by an additional 180 days with the consent of the parties. Madam, another very important uh, issue here in this bill is uh, the ground to challenge the mediated settlement agreement. Uh, as you know, that there are many grounds because the settlement uh, between the parties may not be acceptable. Uh, so there are, uh, there, are, uh, there are challenges in mediated settlement. The mediated settlement agreement, including fraud, corruption, impersonation, and disputes not fit for mediation. So these, these are the excluding clause. And the, and the most important point is the recognition of institutional mediation. We have accepted it and uh, the, the, the Mediation Council of India will regulate to uh, regulate these provisions. Uh, another, you know, we are, uh, we are, we are going through a global uh, transformation scenario where online mediation is, has become very important and this bill recognizes the online mediation allowing parties to engage in pre-litigation pre -litigation mediation using applications and computer networks with written consent. Madam, uh, the establishment of Mediation Council of India, which was also uh, suggested by the Standing Committee, the bill provides for, me, provides for media, media, uh, Mediation Council of India, and the media, uh, uh, Mediation Council of India should be the sole authority to regulate all mediation service providers and institutes. Further, Mediation Council should also be constituted in all states that will function under the control of Mediation Council of India. This has been accepted, and this is one of the highlights of the bill. With this, I conclude, Madam. Thank you very much.